Hello everyone, Digfake here, and welcome back to some more, I almost said Metro Exodus, but it is Mass Effect. I did go through my journal log real quick here, and we have uh, two more scans to complete. I don't know where they would be, I mean the only place I haven't gone thoroughly through is the bar. This guy's gonna want to talk to me. Could you spare a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy it's to no help. Trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested mm, that shit. my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they why say did they why? refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Um. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Well, uh, go shake down this guy of why you can't get your wife's corpse. Probably because she got infected by husk things and is now actually a husk, which would make her classified geth technology, but it's fine. Pretend like that's not a thing. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes, I am. The activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for Shahish. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Oh. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Hmm. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Better be respectful of that body. I do... You're not preaching to some... I don't have a problem with it. They can do good for humanity even after death. Then let's use them for it. That's fine. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Where can I find this, Mr. Bosker? I it was in the expensive answer. bar over there. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. Um. She died a hero, Mr. Batya, and now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. She's never coming home. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. 
Thank you for finding me answers. Ooh, he's having a rough day. Really rough day. But are we all? Let's go down to the bar that I shot up and try not to shoot it up. Uh, Cora's Den, I believe. And then I need to go to the medic place because that's where what's his name is? The Gentleman's Club. Here is to see if there's a uh, top nudity for you all. Don't remember in this game. I think they're all just in revealing suits. No actual nudity in this one. I guess it's good for the recording. So that's the general, that's Hartha, so many people to talk to down here. It's gotta be a keeper or two down here. Begin manual override. Having Talia on your side, definitely worth it. So no keepers. Well, shit. Why do I hear someone talking? Got it. Who is giggling? First time I was here, I dropped a bundle in the casino. <laughs> Got so mad, I put my fist through one of the machines. Yeah, not surprised there. My people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Take all. I should have. What was it? Chemical rounds two, or was it radioactive rounds two? I picked up radioactive two. Well, I guess I don't actually want radioactive rounds. We want her to have these. These rounds are stopped when the radioactive rounds are a little radiation in the It's negative 10 cooldown reduction. So that should increase enemy cooldown reductions, if I remember correctly. Um, it's worded kind of weird. But either way, it'll be useful on her. No keepers. Really? Shit. Go away. Let me let me drink your piss. Go away. Can't talk to him yet. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So now you're tarnishing your kitchen? General. How did your kind ever defeat us? Oh. I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. Tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut. Go away. I can help. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Um... I don't buy it. General, quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh? <sighs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. True. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who 
who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Um, all right. Where am I taking him to? Where is he? I know where he is. Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. It's possible. But I have this odd suspicion I'm not gonna live that long. But I might. Human military. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? Because I'm I not. I talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I, I agree with her. I shouldn't. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Dove girl. I'm busy. The other waitress is killing you. See, I agree. I should just let her be. It's not my fucking business. Just say, push up. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Traumatic. Dun, 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 dun. Why can't I talk to you? Fine. I don't want to talk to you, anyways. It's fine. Two keepers. There's really no keepers in all of that place. Shit. This is what I was talking about. There's two keepers missing. Is there places I don't have access to yet? Actually, we did level up a while ago. Um... I think I want to get to where I have heavy armor unequipped, right? One, two, three, four. Search 40 health, 12 wounded pound, first aid. I guess that's a good skill to have. Um, oof. She is expensive. Oh, wow. She's not expensive. I mean, she is, but also I haven't put any points into her. Uh, increased tech resistance. Always master out that first. Start her off just like that. Rex still has four points. He's a big fan of, uh, you know, just taking rounds to the face. Increase his warp a little. And give him auto key. Here we go. Go, Rex. Um, it's supposed to go to medical bay. Should be all the way down this hallway. Take a right. Did I scan you? Yeah, I did. It's two. I remember this quest so detailed, like, not in detail, but like, I remember it driving me nuts because that's the kind of stuff I love in sci-fi games. It's trying to dig out all the secrets of the alien tech and stuff. 
Fuck. Yeah, oh well. Uh, what are we doing in here? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. <laughs> Everyone's got issues. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Um, okay. I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Mm, I'll make the delivery. Give me contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? Mm. I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. Oh. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. You're a doctor. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but I'll not be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking. Supposed to be what's his name in here? Ah. Uh. They're not up here. Knew there was observation points. People always complain that the wards are too crowded, but I never have any problem. Everybody gives me plenty of space. Uh, not crazy, right? Need Garrus, but I want Garrus. Um, so the location, Citadel Tower, Council Chambers, back, board location, CSEC office, I guess. Okay, had a phone call. I answered it. Now we're done. Where would he be in this place? I go down here. This is another elevator, right? Yeah, that's the one I normally take up here. Um, and this should take me to the requisitions office. But I'm looking for my Torian friend here. Did scan you. Every time I visit the Citadel. They bring me here for a friendly little show. Yeah, we know, we know. Um, I need to talk to what's his name again. A little little guys up here. I don't know why they wear suits. They must have something to do with the atmosphere or something of why they wear suits. And I can't remember their race. Saved my life. Whatever. Um Don't see any interactions there. I've got an interaction there. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I'm afraid I found so. Out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Uh, you lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Nope. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But, well, if you say so. For science. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Good. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Good on you. Um, 
Aha, is this my guy? I don't know, this is probably no offense, for Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. Watch your tone, Chillick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? Um, all right, what I'll do you help mean? You, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. True. I'll persuade like the LA Jax bank robbery. to tell where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Okay. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Fair enough. Got another mission to do. But on that note, we are actually out of time for this episode. So I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We're gonna play all the way through all the Mass Effect games. Cannot wait to love them all. Drama, yeah. But the first three, mm, gold. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell notification, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Dig, dig out.